So you want to learn how to serve perfect backhand short serves like this every time? Well today I'm going to teach you the 5 essential drills to mastering your backhand short serve. Our first drill is going to be our bird holding direction. When we're holding our bird, we hold with three fingers and we want to make sure the bird head is facing the direction that we're hitting. Some people often hold it too much up or too much down, resulting in a wobbly bird. When we're practicing this drill, we just keep it simple. From whatever position we are, we say raise, raise, boom, perfect, facing that angle. Raise, boom, perfect, facing that angle. Raise, boom. You want to have a muscle memory so that your arm length, arm height, and your wrist direction is always facing that perfect angle towards the direction that you're hitting. Our second drill is our swing motion. When we're hitting the backhand serve, we don't want to be using too much arm and we don't want to be using too much wrist. The perfect amount is to swing from back to front with a little bit of curvature. And the back to front motion is using our arm to swing and the curvature is handled by our wrist and our fingers. So when we're hitting, we're essentially just pushing forward with slight curvature so that we can still generate power with our wrist and that it goes forward. When we're doing this, all we want to do is do this motion, same back and forth. And when we're hitting the bird, don't release, but make sure that our direction face is hitting the same direction as our bird. Our third drill is the direction that we'll be serving. We want to be mainly serving to two parts, the left and the right side. And this will be determined by on your contact point, which side your racket is facing through the pronation of your wrist. So we can practice this drill by doing alternating serves to the left side and the right side. Our first drill is practicing the distance on our serves. If we want to serve further and press more into our opponent's body, the opponent will be tempted to hitting a flatter shot. If we want to serve shorter and closer to the line, then opponent will often hit softer shots or hit higher shots. We want to practice this by alternating between a far press serve and a soft short serve. Our last drill is going to be our hold and timing for our serve. Often when we serve, we don't want to just pick up the bird and serve right away because the timing is very predictable for our opponent. What we want to do is have timing in many steps. We can pick up and serve right away. We can hold for one second and then serve. We can hold for three seconds. One, two, three, and serve. For this, you want to practice just switching it up with your timing each time so that your opponent cannot predict when you're going to serve. That was the five essential skills you need to perfecting your backhand short serve. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.